don't know if it's creative, but it's interesting, at least to me, and I'll tell you, it certainly was this morning with my household, uh, my four kids, that, uh, and, and, and excuse them and forgive me, uh, seem more intrigued by this slide uh, uh, that we were working on than anything else uh, related to this pandemic, this is their love for animals. Uh, we have two gorillas at the San Diego Zoo that now have tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, two that have been tested positive. We have another that's symptomatic. Uh, we are con currently confirming the source of the infection and the strain. There is some question, did it come human to animal that's being determined? Uh, and one has to respect uh, that process and the adjudication of the facts. But nonetheless, it's just an area uh, that's long been of concern, human to animal transmission, but our beloved gorillas, obviously, um, we are uh, concerned about, and San Diego Zoo, best of the best. Uh, they've tested now formally two positive, but three are symptomatic, and, and uh, we are likely to see more information about this in real time in the next hours, not just days. But I thought I'd just bring it up because, as I say often to all of you, um, what tends to resonate in my house, I want to make public to you uh, in real time. And that's the update in terms of the status of these gorillas in the San Diego Zoo. So from the basement. CNN anchor Chris Cuomo is out of quarantine, recovered from COVID-19 and reunited with his family. This is the dream, just to be back up here doing normal things. Cuomo's 17-year-old daughter, Bella, has been taking care of the family. My dad has corona, but he's going to be okay. He's actually doing really well right now. And showed off the hazmat suit she used when checking on her dad. Is that okay so far? <laughs> My name is Rochelle Walensky, and I am the director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. How do we get this pandemic under control? We have to mask, we have to socially distance, we have to wash our hands, we have to avoid crowds, avoid travel, and then we have to get vaccinated when we can. Explain the COVID mutations and how we stop them. So when viruses mutate, they can make mistakes when they replicate, and when they replicate and, and make mistakes, sometimes they have some advantage to the virus. So the new variants are just like the old variants in terms of the disease. However, they may be less forgiving. So if there was a mass breach before that might not have caused disease, it might this time. So we just have to do the exact same things. If someone has had COVID-19, should they still get the vaccination? It's likely if you've had COVID-19 before, you still have some immune protection up to at least about 90 days. So yes, you're eligible for vaccination, but we might ask that you consider waiting so that others who don't have any immunity could get vaccinated before you. Will we need to retake the vaccine every so often? We don't have data on that yet. The vaccine trials are looking out to two years, um, and so those data will be forthcoming, and as soon as we have them, we'll let the public know. Are we on track to administer 100 million shots in the first 100 days? We are absolutely on track. We have been working really hard. At day 100, we're not done. We still have 200 million more Americans that we need to get vaccinated, and that track record will continue. What's the biggest COVID-19 myth that you would like to get rid of right now? That masking doesn't work. Okay, awesome. That was fun. Okay. Good. For the record, that masks are not theater, masks are protective, and we, we have ask immunity you, there. Yes. First of all, when you have a variant, you have an immunity that you get with convalescent Sarah and the same sort of thing. If I vaccinate you or me against the wild type, you get a certain level of antibody that's specific for a particular viral strain. If there's a circulating variant, you don't necessarily have it. You have some spillover immunity to be sure, but you diminish by anywhere from two to eightfold the protection. So the point I'm saying is that there are variants in now circulating. The point that Senator Paul was making was that if you look at wild type only, there is some clear cut credence to what he's saying, but we are living right now in a situation where we're having a dominance of 117, which was the original UK. We have a very troublesome variant in New York City, a 526. We've got two variants in California, a 427, 429, and we have a number of others. So we're not dealing with a static situation of the same virus. This and a former, this is a woman who ran the second largest attorney general's office in America after the US, after the United States attorney general in the state of California and has uh, done a great deal of following human rights, but also uh, fighting organized crime in the process. So, 
it's not her full responsibility and job, but she's leading the effort because I think the best thing to do is to put someone who, when he or she speaks, they don't have to wonder about, is that where the president is? When she speaks, she speaks for me, doesn't have to check with me, she knows what she's doing, and I hope we can move this along. But, so, Madam Vice President, thank you. I gave you a tough job and you're, you're smiling. <laughs> But there's no one better capable of trying to organize this. Place. Well, thank you, Mr. President, and for having the confidence in me. And there's no question that this is a challenging situation. Uh, as the president has said, there are many factors that lead president to leave these countries. And um, while we are clear that people should not come to the border now, um, we also understand that we will enforce the law, and um, that we also, because we can to them and walk at the same time, must address the root causes that, uh, that cause people to make the trek, as the President has described, to come here. To the border. At some point I will, yes. Do you want to see for a what's going on in those facilities? I know what's going on in those facilities. Do you plan to visit the border? Uh, um, not today. <laughs> but um, I have before and I'm sure I will again.